hello everyone welcome to the channel once again the name is guru boy so here in today's tutorial we are taking a look on how to remove icloud or permanently remove icloud on any iphone ipad device so in this tutorial i'm going to show you all the basic steps that you need to follow to get your device permanently unlocked let's say you did bought a phone from a seller and it has an apple id on it since find my phone is on you cannot sign out and put in your apple id so in this video we'll show you how to remove the apple id and proceed to sign in with your own apple id or even if you do forget your password you can follow this video so before you do proceed make sure that you are able to access your icloud storage like this showing on my phone and make sure that when you do turn off game center it does not require password so after turning off and on game center you should not be prompt to provide the password of the apple id so with that being said let's switch to our computer and on our computer we will use the broke fmi client so here we have to head over to our browser and download the broke fmi client version 1 and and for those that need the links i'll leave the link in my video description so make sure to check this video description so after downloading you just have to extract the tool onto your desktop so here i have it already extracted so i'll just open the broke fmi and here is how the ui do looks like so after opening the broke let's connect our device to the computer so if your ipad just connect your ipad to the computer and wait for the broke fmi to detect your device so here we have three to be detecting the device and also broke also did detect our device so showing that the serial number of this device is not being registered so we have to register this serial number to any reseller so i'll leave the link for registration in this video with that being said i'll register my device real quick and i'll unplug my device and plug it in and this time broke should detect our device has been registered since we've already placed order with our device so you can see status saying our device is being registered so now we can proceed to the next step by moving into 3u2s and also 3u2s links will be in this video description move to backup and before you do backup move to password and we have to set password on our backup to encrypt it so manage password and and then set password on your backup file so here i already have password on mine so i just have to change it just to show you how it do looks like so after doing that we can now move to our device or the ipad or iphone and move make sure that we do turn off game center by turning off game center then we turn it back on so if you are enjoying this video make sure to subscribe to this channel give a like if you are enjoying this video so after turning off and on the game center wait for it to fully turn on before you do click on backup the, um now so now let's back up now and after backing up we have to provide the password that we just created so now i will input the password for mine and now wait for the backup to be completed successfully so we now wait for your device backup to finish and when it's been done we will proceed to look for the token that we are going to use to turn off find my iphone on our device so now let's move to the third app which is the uh, comsoft application that i will leave also the link in this video description so now when you do open it this is how it do looks like so we have to exploit the keychain so make sure you select apple then exploit keychain now let's locate the backup file that we did created so mine i'll have to locate it under c drive and 3 tools under 3 tools move to your backup files and in your backup file just locate the one that you just created so this is the backup file that i didn't made so compared to the time this is the backup file that i did create so just open that file and scroll down to you see manifest.plist after locating just click on it and input your password then exploit the manifest.plist so we cannot exploit the keychain so we have to change the view so let's use the 
tree view and now we can search for the pet now type in pet and after typing in pet hit on enter to search for pet so here we have we have one pet in one of the keychain now we have to unfold it and under account let's copy the account key value and then paste it into the book fmi apple id box so now let's move back to the exploit keychain and look under it and we will see data make sure that we copy the data value which is the pet key and copy it value and move into the brook fmi pet token box now paste it in and now we can click on 10 fmi off so wait for it to prompt you a successful message saying find my phone is off so here we have the message saying find my phone is off so if you do have any error saying that your key has been expired just make a new backup make sure that you turn game center off and on then make a new backup file then paste in the keychain again no so after that i'll have to verify that my device has no fmi on it so just have to copy my imei or the serial number to check it myself so if you are enjoying this video make sure to subscribe to the channel give a like if you are enjoying this video and also for the registration i will leave the link in this video for you to contact us for registration now I've, if i do check my device you will see that it says my device has no fmi on it it is off so that's it after that we can proceed to factory reset or do clean flash using 3u tools or itunes to restore our device so you can see that i found my iphone is off so now we can proceed with 3u tools to to restore our device so after restoring your device you can now set up your device without prompting you with bonded apple id or activation lock screen so if you are enjoying this video and you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is guru boy and you can use the comment section to report any errors that you are facing and also you can contact us on whatsapp telegram for quick response and after doing clean flash wait for your device to turn on and when your device do turn on you will be able to set up your device without getting prompt to provide a previous bonded apple id so here we have it guys we've successfully activated our device successfully so let me set my device real quick so here we are on the home screen and we successfully activated our device and we can sign in and create new apple id onto this device thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is guru peace out